No, this wouldn't have been a real happening divvy, would it? No. Okay. Yeah, we seem to be through the crux pitches. We have Marco leading. We've played like I think this is the seventh, and we've done some simul climbing. What do you think, Vince? How is the uh, climbing today? Climbing's been great. Yeah, this is really cool and a nice uh, contrast from the rock climbing yesterday. This is awesome. Yeah, it's pretty good, huh? Maybe we'll be at the bivy in an hour or two. It's pretty early, it's like noon. Yeah. Doing well. Yeah. And the worst part of it is the sun's <coughs> starting to melt some of this ice and loosen some things have been falling, but uh, I think as we get higher we're gonna have less and less of that. The wall looks pretty clean <coughs> there. And the terrain to the left we lose. This is one of the hardest parts of climbing is just uh, finding a place to bivy at the end of the day. And uh, we're on this little ridge and we're having to chop out a spot for the tent out of the ice. Really hard work. It'll probably take us a couple hours of chopping. That's the hard move on the climb. The bivy? Yeah. 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 It's easy to do. E e e e. <laughs> there been on the go for a little over 12 hours, including chopping the tent and stuff. We belayed, oh, I don't even know, like 10 pitches, something like that. And then we soloed a bunch. We simul climbed some. We gained about between two and 3,000 feet of elevation. I haven't checked the altimeter. <clears throat> and we have a little less than 3,000 feet to the summit, according to my guess. So that'll be for tomorrow. So now we're just getting settled in, getting everything moved in, gonna eat, drink, rest, and uh, if the weather's good, hopefully climb this mountain tomorrow. When you started digging, it looked it will be worse. Yeah, this is far better than what we yeah. could have had, huh? Oh, perfect. We should stay here three nights. I think so. Okay. And uh, what is it, like six? <laughs> Seven. Seven. Okay. Good enough though, we had a full day. Yeah. And we're getting up at four. Alright. Good so morning. Better. Okay. Morning tea on the way. Uh. <sighs> I started wanting to come more to the Himalayan Karakoram because I've been climbing a lot in uh, the Alaska range and in North America and uh, the objectives, this sounds uh, really egotistical, but the objectives weren't big enough anymore. <laughs> so I just came here where they're bigger. A little cold, Vince? Yeah, just a little <coughs> cold in the inside, not just on the outside. How is that different than normal? It's like a deep cold. No, we're not talking about your cold, black, and shriveled heart. We're talking about... No. Okay. My bones. Your bones. Yeah. I had cold bones today. Uh, Marco's leading us up, hopefully, to the ridge crest, and we'll see what that brings us. Maybe easier, maybe not. Hopefully sun. 6,300 meters. What time is it? 500 meters goes. 
10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, we're doing good. Yeah. We're climbing. What time did we leave? Six ish? Quarter to six. Alright. Well, we're on the ridge now. Trying to get to the summit, but it's not going to be easy. It's a glacier way the hell down there. The summit is the rocks over there. So we got to get through these cornices right here. <laughs> what did we do with the mushroom? <laughs> the whole thing broke and went down there. I saw, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. At least I won't have to take a shit for a couple days because I got scared shitless. The good news is it's a little easier now. And I found some ice. Because you knock off the mushroom? That's why it's easier? Yeah. Uh -huh. Ooh, it was big, huh? Yeah, it was pretty big. I was behind it. It was like there was a crevasse kind of here. So, and I had that screw in. Shit. Good. This final bit up to the summit is proving to be a bit more problematic than we thought, huh? Cornices and mushrooms. Funky, that's what it is. See, he's trying to burrow underneath this big cornice right now. So we can get over that saddle. And then, hopefully, just follow that ridge on up to the top and then off to the summit, which is just out of sight to the right. We're really close. But it's not coming easy. Here's Marco coming across the sketch traverse. Sugar snow and dead horizontal, half a rope length, and uh, almost vertical. It's really loose right in there, and it bulges. There he goes. All right, you got it. Good job. Well, it's it ain't no pushover. No, it looks a lot easier from here though, huh? We'll see. I'm not gonna take anything for granted until we're standing on the top. Yeah. This one's putting up a good fight to the very end. It's steep from the first meter. Yeah. Finally. Last 200 feet to the top. Mountain cave in a little bit. You can actually just walk. It's pretty much been technical pitched climbing from the bottom till we got here. So the word from Steve is that we got two more humps like this. That flag was a special gift from Gulam Rasul of, of Fouché. He wanted us to bring it up here for the first ascent of the peak. He made a very special request of me. Yeah? Yeah. Son. Yeah? Success? Well, we'll Success. Find out. I was waiting for 